When new runners start thinking about training for their first half marathon or marathon, one of the first things they ask is, how much am I going to need to train? Unfortunately, there's always been a battle with coaches, athletes, and the media who are all clawing for attention by sticking to one of two camps. The low mileage, hit athletes, crossfit athletes, or minimalist athletes say you barely need to train besides a few big weekends to complete these races. Or the other camp are the elite athletes or the sufferfest athletes who fetishize hard work and might say that you just need to train more and harder every single day to complete these races. But both opinions are just flat out wrong. And finally, we have data to answer the question, how much do you need to train for a half marathon or marathon to finish well while staying healthy and injury free in the process? What's up motivators? My name is Taryn. When ordinary people want to accomplish something extraordinary in endurance sports, they choose motive training plans. Let's do it. I want to preface everything we're going to talk about in this video with a couple of things. We are talking about everyday amateur runners here who want to finish well. We're not talking about people who are okay with limping their way through the entire race just barely finishing, but we're also not talking about elite athletes who prioritize the finish time above absolutely all else, taking time away from real life commitments and health and injury risks in the process. If you want to challenge yourself to see what you're capable of, you want to train well, but also keep a balance between real life commitments, time availability, and your health, then this video is for you. Let's get into the findings. This study looked at nearly a thousand runners finish times and their training plans and found a clear required amount of weekly mileage to finish these races well. For half marathons, runners needed to run more than 20 miles per week, roughly 32 kilometers per week, but that wasn't enough. Their long runs had to be at least a long run of 13 miles, 21 kilometers. Marathon runners needed to run more than 25 miles per week, 40 kilometers per week, and their long runs had to be at least 15 and a half miles, 25 kilometers. When I list this out in mileage terms, it might seem daunting for a lot of new runners thinking about doing these races, but assuming that the average run training place of a typical age grouper is around 852 per mile, about five and a half minutes per kilometer, that means that we're able to do 6.77 miles per hour, 10.9 kilometers per hour. So people training for a half marathon really only need to run an average of about three hours per week while people training for a marathon only need to run an average of just under four hours per week. When we talk about this in time, it sounds totally reasonable for people to fit this into their lives, right? This could be a training plan with just three workouts per week. For example, in our app, you could do a training plan that looks like this, with one long run, one interval run, and one tempo run spaced out equally throughout the week. What's great about this is that another study looked at this training mileage and the long run distance and found that these slightly longer but very reasonable training amounts didn't increase the likelihood of injury, it actually lowered it. People who trained a little more and did a longer run actually had fewer injuries during and after their races. So that addresses the minimalist training plan proponents, but what about the more is always better camp? To answer that question, we can look at a study done by the famous run coach Jack Daniels, not the booze hound, where he looked at the diminishing returns of adding additional run mileage every week. He put together this fantastic chart that showed at the minimum required weekly miles that we discussed, which is right around here, athletes still have a lot to gain by increasing their weekly mileage. They're still in this great part of the graph where a little bit more running can create a lot of improvement. This is where most runners want to be, where the work that they're putting in makes a really big difference in the performance that they get to experience. But how much is too much? Well, they're stopping before they start to experience these diminishing returns where additional time spent training is only making tiny incremental changes in performance or even resulting in worse performance because their body can't keep up with the training. So on this chart, that spot is roughly at 60 miles of training per week. In our training plans, that would look like a week with one 30 minute strength session and one 30 minute mobility session. This is all an awesome coincidence because this study here found that when we start approaching nine to 10 hours a week of training or more for a long period of time, our heart health is actually getting worse, not better. 
So we've got an exact range of how much you need to train each week for half marathons and marathons, and it's a little under four hours to around eight and a half hours, with the long runs being over 13 miles and over 15 miles respectively. When you have a good training plan designed around this range, you are going to perform very well while staying healthy doing it. In our training plans, we have three different classifications of goals as it relates to the time spent training. First are the just finish athletes. These would be the athletes who don't really care about the time they finish in, but they wanna be confident that they'll be able to finish and do so with as little training as possible because maybe they're just getting started or they're really busy and this is okay. These would be athletes who fall towards the three to four and a half hours of average running per week. Next, the finish feeling strong runners. This is the largest group of athletes, and these are people who want to finish feeling like they're in control of the race and they're pushing their limits just a little bit. These athletes would be in the middle of the range around four to six hours of average training per week. Finally, the athletes who have a little more time and really wanna push their limits and see how high up in the field they can finish will be in the six and a half to eight and a half hours of average training per week. And the great thing about all of this data is that this isn't just one study. As we mentioned, there are a number of studies that are finally finding very similar results, pointing us in a direction where we can confidently create training plans that will work for most people while avoiding some of the landmines that can happen when coaches or well-meaning but uninformed friends might be sharing incorrect information. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want more weekly training tips designed specifically to help ordinary people accomplish something extraordinary in endurance sports. Hit the notification bell to not miss out on videos when they come out. And finally, click the video on the screen if you want to dive into running with a low heart rate, which we believe is one of the most important keys to doing your run training properly, but it's very hard for beginners to learn to do. This video will teach you how. Later, motivators.